hi guys welcome to how to wednesday in today's episode we delve into the art of crimping an sdi cable whether you are a seasoned professional or a curious enthusiast our step-by-step -step guide will empower you with the knowledge and skills to terminate an sdi cable today i am joined by a beautiful lady on my right and a handsome gentleman on my left I'm sure you've seen this face before and I'd like them to just say hi to you guys. So we start off with you. Yeah, thank you. Hello guys. Mm -hmm. I'm Karen Cherotich mm -hmm. from Chuka University, mm -hmm. an intern. And I'm very excited mm -hmm. to learn how to crimp a cable with you guys. Uh -huh. nice. Hi guys, my mm -hmm. name is Victor Kerry. Mm -hmm. I'm from Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that we are going to go through the clipping of the cable mm -hmm. with you guys come join us mm -hmm. yeah yeah so we get right into it i'm just going to take you guys through what we have on this table right here we have our cable that we are going to crimp we have a knife we have a meter we have scissor we have our crimping tool we have our stripper we have a side cutter we have our boots our sleeve our pin and the B and C connector and from here Victor is going to take us through the whole process of crimping an SDI cable to you Victor yeah so guys mm -hmm. I I think I'm connected to this cable in some way because <laughs> uh, as we are using it in the field it mm -hmm. had some malfunctions mm -hmm. and so that's why we today we decided to come and share with you how we are going to repair it because mm -hmm. we had done it before but mm. in this time you're going to start afresh mm. so even before we start in the crimping yeah uh first we should check for the continuity of the cable mm. so that's why we have a meter here with us yep so help me with this mm. so first of all you make sure your meter is on mm. yeah and it is on the continuity over here yeah yeah so you can help me there okay and hold the ends for me so as you're checking the continuity you make sure you touch the meter onto the it, tips the pins, the pins as you can hear the meter is giving us some sound and also it giving us some readings showing us that the cable has continuity mm. yeah so from here because it's not a new it, it has been a new uh, unused sdi cable mm. we are going to cut this part off because we want to we you want do to, it to again. redo it afresh mm. so that's why you have the side cutter yeah so you just come over here and cut it like that you see mm. mm -hmm. after that now we are going to start off with uh, the boot and the sleeve yeah so you come you place in your boot all the way down mm -hmm. then followed by your sleeve yeah like that nicely and then over here now we're gonna use the stripper mm -hmm. so we can we can remove this purple part mm -hmm. the outer coating of the cable so you should not worry about the how many millimeters you should clean because our strip over here and uh, most strippers have this kind of drawing mm -hmm. that helps you know mm -hmm. uh onto which level you should uh, place your your cable. cable so you just place it over there nicely and then you lock it there mm -hmm. and then you rotate it so that the knife inside here can be able to cut off this purple part so you rotate it like that like that for a few times mm -hmm. so that it can cut it accurately so after that you unlock it remove this outer purple part move it press it over there move it like that so as you can see we have removed the purple part mm -hmm. which is the outer coating of the SDI and then we have this other part the wire mesh then you should come and draw it downwards like that like that and you should be careful because it can cause injuries to your hand so be careful while doing this so after reaching at this position that's where you we use the scissors mm -hmm. to cut off some parts of this to trim it yes. and as you trim it don't trim it fully leave some a bit of it mm -hmm. so you 
trim it like that. Trim it. And also as you trim it, make sure that you do not have electronic gadgets mm -hmm. near you because it can cause shots. Trim it like that. Yeah, nicely done, as you can see. So the next you remove this foil. Move it like that, pull it down, and then you also trim it. So trim it nicely. Like that. So come to this position now where we are. We have the white part. So this is the last part to take off. So with this, we are going to use our knife. And as you use this knife, you should be careful because uh, the knife is a bit sharp and can chop off your finger. So at this particular place, you just cut off like a few millimeters of the white part. And as you cut it, you cut it with care that you don't cut off your fingers. Like that. You cut it all around. Then you pull it up like that nicely. So after here, that's where the tips mm -hmm. come in. The pin. The pin. <laughs> so you make sure your pin slips in over mm. there, over the the copper, copper wire, like that. And it fits in well perfectly. So after that. We're gonna now use the crimping tool mm -hmm. to make sure that this to secure the pin yeah to secure the pin point. nicely so that it yeah. doesn't come off. Mm -hmm. So for this, we are going to use the crimping tool. So over here, you can see there are various sizes. Mm -hmm. So for us, we are going to use this small one over here. So you place it nicely. And then you press like that. As you can see, it is tightly connected now to the cable. Yeah. So from here, you take your BNC, you bring it in there. Now you can see we are almost done with our crimping. So at this particular place, mm -hmm. you pull the, the threads, the threads that were mm -hmm. the wire mesh that was remaining mm -hmm. up and then you pull the sleeve up so that the sleeve can help you attach the BNC to the cable completely firm so that it doesn't come off. So also for this we are going to use our crimping tool again as I have told you earlier we are, there are different sizes mm -hmm. and we are going to use this one over here. Okay. Bring it nicely there and then you press so for this, I'm going to use my two hands to make sure it's set to the place. Like that. Mm. So after here, we pull up our boot. Like that. Like that. All the way up. Like that. And there we have finished climping our cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back to you, Mary. Nice. So we can do another test? Yeah, we can do another yeah. test. Yeah. So you see, even after clinking, you should make sure that there is continuity on your cable. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well done, Victor. So our cable is working perfectly. And guys, today I'm not going to be doing the outro parts <laughs> and the past one I'm going to choose <laughs> is none other than Karen. So you've learned something. Yeah. You've learned something. Mm -hmm. You're now able to crimp on your own. Comfortably, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any question? 
I think I'm good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, guys, mm-hmm. I've comfortably learned how to crimp an SDI cable. Yeah. And if you want to purchase an SDI cable or any other equipment from us, mm-hmm. you can reach us at at zero seven nine six two six two zero two eight or you can visit our website at www.highwayav.co.ke. Until next time, bye. bye.